Right now, the Slotum is the cheapest bed frame you can purchase from IKEA. In Canada, this bed frame goes for $149, and in America it goes for $129. At these price points, I was expecting a poor quality bed frame, but I must say, after testing it out, I found it to be fair for the price. In regards to the headboard, it comes with some polyurethane foam and polyester wadding so you can lean your head on it. I wouldn't say it's a comfortable experience, as the headboard has a pretty thin layer of cushion, but for a short amount of time, you should be fine. As of now, the upholstery comes in this light grey colour, and it's made out of recycled polyester. To keep the price down, IKEA has to use this cheaper quality material. But I still found it soft to the touch, and if you do get the surface dirty, IKEA recommends you using a damp cloth with a mild cleanser to get rid of any stains. You can't wash, bleach, iron, or dry clean this material. I'd also like to point out that you can expect the headboard to move back and forth. It's not the most stable bed frame, as I also noticed some movement from side to side. I'm not really surprised, as this bed frame is held up by these thin steel legs. But I do like that these legs create some clearance underneath the bed frame, so you can utilize this space to store your shoeboxes or smaller size storage containers. With this bed frame, you can expect about 12 inches of elevation from the bottom of where your mattress will sit to the ground. With the addition of your mattress, and it obviously depends on how thick your mattress is, this gives you more than enough clearance to get in and out of your bed comfortably. As for the middle section of the slatum, it comes with a wooden slatted bed base that is held in place by these plastic hooks. I didn't really see any issues with the section of the bed, as the hooks held the bed base in place pretty well. I also like that the package is small enough that it can fit in a smaller size car. This applies for both the full or the queen size bed frame. Honestly, the only issue I had with this bed frame was when I was assembling everything together. Some of the screws didn't want to align with the threads properly. This issue may just be with the bed frame I bought, but I noticed that it was sometimes hard to screw in the screws. I also have a tutorial on how to assemble the slat and bed frame, in case you're a person that has troubles with reading instructions. But I like that with this assembly, you don't need any extra tools. IKEA provides you with two Allen keys that will get the job done. In my opinion, I think this bed frame would be a great addition to a student's bedroom or a parent looking for something cheap for their kids, or even if you're looking at an inexpensive bed frame for yourself. Smash that like button if you enjoyed the video, and screw that subscribe button if you want to see more furniture review videos.